Thank you. Take Good a to seat, be back. George. Good to be back. Your opening thoughts, George. Obviously, we just made the announcement. It is very exciting to a lot of fans out there of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and mixed martial arts that you're returning to competition. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. I'm in, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm in great shape, and uh, it's fun. I mean, uh, I I'm happy to be part of it. UFC going to take the sport to a like a, a, a different level, and I'm glad to be part of it. Uh, professional submission wrestling, jiu-jitsu. What, uh, what was the reason that you decided to get back into competition in this format? Well, I, I, first, I'm, I'm, all, I'm always in shape. I'm in great shape. And um, competing in professional submission wrestling, jiu-jitsu, it's... Uh, it's very serious competition, but the, the risks are to a minimum for, uh, for someone in my position. It's great. I'm 42 years old, and it gives me, because I felt at the end when I retired, I was training, but, you know, I needed some, I like the kick of competition, you know. I, I, I like to get it back, and I like to feel the adrenaline again, and I, I think it's, uh, it's also an avenue for fighters uh, who still want to compete, to make money, and to have fun with the fan and the, the family of the UFC. How do you describe the difference? Obviously, you're going to be a lifelong martial artist and you'll train forever, but how do you describe the difference in getting on the mats consistently, but then, like you said, the different kick, the different level of a competition? Yeah, I, uh, I'm 42 years old, and... Um, uh, when I was training earlier, earlier it was for mixed martial art. I, uh, my goal was to be the, the, the strongest man in, in the world. Now this is a different form of competition. It's very specialized. Um, there is guys that, are, that will compete in UFC inv Invitational that their goal is to be the best grappler in the world it, because it's a very specialized sport. You can be the best fighter in the world, but that doesn't mean you're the best grappler and vice versa. This is just a, a, a different form of competition. I do have experience in grappling competition because I competed in, in wrestling and jiu-jitsu before. But this is, uh, for me, a, a different experience. And uh, the level of competition is, uh, is the, elite, the elite of the elite, the best of the best, and I'm glad to be part of it. Obviously, jiu-jitsu is, uh, I mean, it's, it's been popular for years, but it's kind of experiencing a new moment even with some of the celebrities that have started training. Uh, for you, what is it about jiu-jitsu specifically that you think just is so beneficial? Well, I, I, first, I'm in love with submission wrestling jiu-jitsu because it's, it's the oldest sport in the world. It was in ancient Greek uh, hundreds of, of years ago. That, so thousands of years ago. And, and I'm glad we kind of rediscover it. And... Um, I'm back in the competition. There, there's guys, like I said, will, will be back to be best, like young generation that will be competing against other grapplers that are specialized in that sport that want to compete to be the best grappler in the world. For me, I want to compete against guys that are, are, are active fighter or, or veteran fighter, guys that are in shape to, for, for the kick of it and for the fans, to please the fans, because ultimately you're the one who, who decide who you want to see perform, you know? And just a word to the media, he, we might have some time for some questions for George in just a few minutes, uh, if you are interested in that. Uh, how would you, to UFC fans, people that are fans of mixed martial arts, that mix the arts, right, striking and grappling, how would you kind of sell to them why grappling competitions are so much fun and why the world of strictly jujitsu is so much fun to watch? Well, it's a sport that is accessible to a bigger range of of people i believe because there there's no um there, there's the, the the risk of injury injury especially for for brain brain damage uh, consequence are are to the minimum and also it's a sport that uh you know you you, you can do it for a longer per period of time without affecting your health and I, I will always train mixed martial art i will always you know do karate muay thai boxing uh all my life, but if I want to compete now at the stage of my life where I am, it's going to be more uh, emphasizing on into gra grappling. 
You mentioned some decorated names that are going to want their make their name in jiu-jitsu. Gordon Ryan is certainly one who has done that, and he's featured on UFC Fight Pass as well, and your pals with Gordon Ryan. What can you say about his impact on the world of jiu-jitsu? Well, I, I, I believe Gordon Ryan is the best grappler of all time right now. I, I've trained with many guys. I believe he's the best uh, uh, grappler, submission, wrestling, jiu-jitsu artist of all time. Uh, and uh, for me, it's an honor to have the opportunity to train with him and train with all the guys at, uh, with John, under John Danaher uh, tutelage in Austin, Texas. And I'm, I really believe I have the best team. And uh, I'm glad to be back, to be part of it, to represent the team. And it's going to be serious competition. I'm going in there. I'm going to prepare as much as I, as much as I would fight in the, for, uh, for a UFC title. It's uh, very serious because it, it will affect my legacy. And uh, I'm glad to, to see you guys, feel the love, feel the support, and uh, make me, you make me, you guys want to make me to come, come back to this. That's because you, you make me feel the, the love that it, it want, I want to get back to this. Gordon Ryan will be at UFC X tomorrow. So if fight fans want to get up close and personal with Gordon Ryan, he'll be in Las Vegas. I have one more question, then we'll get the media involved. There was a very popular Instagram post recently you were standing next to Elon Musk and John Donaher. The Elon Musk jiu-jitsu training. What's the word on it right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> if you can't say anything, we'll move no, on. No, no, no. I can. I can. I can. Um, we, we, we train and uh, he, uh, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, he's very strong, physically very strong, much stronger than the average man very tough and he has a uh, he, he, i didn't know that in the beginning he had a, a, a judo background so it, it was a, an amazing experience I, it, he's someone that i have admired for years because of what he has done his accomplishment and for all the ideas that he stand for and uh, for me it was a dream come true to to meet him in, in person there's some media questions i've always wanted to do this who has the first question Hey, John, go ahead. Thank you, sir. Uh, George, obviously very exciting to have you back in competition. Uh, I'm curious, uh, you know, do you have an, an opponent lined up yet for this matchup? And uh, when can you announce that it's Habib Nurmagomedov? <laughs> I, um, it's hard for me to pick an opponent, and I'm going to tell you why, because the, the, there's, the range is huge. And, and there is also guys that when they retire, Sometimes they, they get out of shape, so it, it's impossible. And, and there's guys that used to compete in lighter weight class that gets bigger and, or vice versa. Guys that were big that got smaller. I received I receive a list uh, today of a uh, potential uh, opponent. And uh, I will talk, have a talk with the, the UFC people, uh, my people, to see also why, who, who, who the fans want me to want to see me compete against, and uh, we'll go from there, you know? Want to make everybody happy. And, and George, are you looking at this as, you know, a one-off, just returning for this one opportunity? Or are you feeling like maybe this could be a new path of competition for a phase of your career? I, I have no illusion, guys. I, I, um, I have more important things in my life. I, I, I don't want to be the best grappler in the world. Like, and I know it's... It, will be unrealistic from my part if this is my goal. I'm, I, I, I'm. However, I, I, I do want to feel the adrenaline of competition again. I'm in very, very good shape. For a 42-year-old man, I'm in very good shape. And, and I know I can prepare myself very well because I do believe I have the best team to do that. And I will compete to the best of my ability against worthy opponent, and, and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, it's going to be fun. I, and I know there, there's guys like we mentioned, Gordon Ryan, uh, Giancarlo B Bologna. There's guys that, there's, that's their specialty, because there, there's a big difference between submission wrestling and mixed martial art. Does, that doesn't mean if you're a good fighter, you will be good in submission wrestling, and that doesn't mean if you're good in submission wrestling, you're a good fighter. It's the same thing in boxing. Great, if you're a great boxer, that doesn't mean you'll do well in MMA and vice versa. It's a speciality. It's a sport that is very specialized 
And now I'm going to start to really focusing on it and to get myself ready for the next uh, challenge. And George, just to kind of follow up on that last thing for me real quick, because we know how meticulous your preparation always was through your career, and you talk about this being specialized, I mean, how will you approach this training? How much of it will be just catered to this, and who will be leading that charge to get you prepared for this? Well, I will train under uh, my coach, uh, John Danaher, and all uh, his students. He had some of the best uh, athletes under his, uh, his, tut his tutelage. So uh, Giancarlo, uh, Gordon Ryan, all, all the guys that are training there, plus I have my training in Montreal. So the way I see it, I'm going to be doing Montreal, Austin a lot in the next few weeks, few months. Mike, go ahead. George, just uh, curious, for this grappling match, what's kind of your preferred rule set? Like, do you want a submission only, no time limit? What would be your desired kind of rule set here? Um, <laughs> I, I, I think for the audience, um, a rule set that, that, that promotes finishes are, would be more interesting for the audience, for me, and for my opponent as well. Something that, that forces the action. And just to circle back to the, to the stuff with Elon, um, after training with him, what do you think? Does this Mark Zuckerberg fight happen? Um, it's, well, historically, if you look at what Elon has accomplished, he's the kind of, of man that when he put his sight on a goal, he achieved him. He, he achieved it. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. However, it's, it's important to, to, to realize that he's no ordinary man. He's extremely, extremely busy. Most of his time is dedicated to work on things that can change the fate of humanity and change the fate of humanity. So a part of me is... If he needs me, I will be there if he wants my help, 100%. But a part of me also believes that he's working on things that are far more important. He put his time on things that are way more important than fighting in a cage. I know you don't like my answer, guy, but that's what I believe in the bottom of my heart. And we're going we're to have to leave it there. Uh, sign up for UFC Fight Pass. You can watch the Fight Pass Invitational. George St. Pierre competing in December. The UFC Hall of Famer, a legend, a former champion. Let him hear it. Welcome back, George. Thank you, guys.